Hello! Um, welcome to my floss tube. My name is Sharice Raven. I go online by the name of Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com and welcome! Uh, it has been quite a while since the last time I did a video, I know. <laughs> um, like, easy two months, so I've got a lot of stuff to, to kind of go through and to show you and uh, it's birthday as well, so we've had a bit of birthday haul, so I kind of do all of that. Um, I think the last time I kind of um, did a Flossy video was before the whole kind of Corona kickoff kind of thing. Um, I think February or maybe early March. I've no idea. All, like literally, all my days are like merging into one, so it's just like one giant big day. <laughs> um, my husband's off work, so. Uh, He's doing my head in, <laughs> obviously. Um, he works during the week and then I, because obviously I'm, if you don't know, I make needle minders. So I've been kind of doing bits at the weekend and we have my 10-year-old um, son, Eden. Uh, he's been off school as well because um, obviously Mike and I, we're not key workers, so we just kind of work from home. Uh, but I've been looking after Eden. Um, he has autism, so the first month of being off was like, a, he was quite challenging because obviously he's gone from his routine of being at school and, you know, knowing what's happening to like suddenly being at home. I mean, we've kind of tried to keep like the same routine and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's different. We're not there. His friends aren't there. And he kind of understands a little bit, but yet not fully kind of thing. So... Anyway, so he's home, but he's getting used to being off now, um, driving me crazy as well. <laughs> I'm used to like just working at home by myself in my craft room, making things and obviously selling them online and stuff and just kind of having them both home under my feet. I'm not used to it. I'm totally not used to it. So, uh, you know, come the end of the day, I'm like, I just want five minutes, please. I'm sure everyone's like that. Oh, they were not used to not having like the, the family around constantly. It's like, I love you, but mm, throwing my head in. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're kind of, a lot of us all in the same boat really, aren't we? Um, I made some little notes of things to kind of talk about that I wanted to mention of things that have kind of happened since. Um, I will show you this. If some of you may or may not know, um, Judy Dent, sorry, Dame Judy Dent. I love Judy Dent. Um, she was, well, I saw in a recent interview that she used to, um, to do cross stitch for like her co-actors and actresses and things. So she'd like cross stitch them, um, uh, like little mementos and stuff, but they'd be like really rude. So it'd be like, bitch or like, you have to excuse my swearing, swearing in this bit. So if you're very sensitive to swearing, just skip forward a bit, but she'd be like, you know, fuck off bitch. <laughs> Oh, that kind of stuff so she'd stitch it up really nice and like present this little swearing gift to them basically insulting them and I thought that was hilarious I loved it I love like all that kind of sub subversive that's what it's called subversive cross stitch stuff so anyway she I, I heard that she kind of did all this stuff and all right because obviously I make needle minders and I was like I'm gonna have to to you know to send her some of these ones that I've got that are a bit like that so let me kind of show you what I sent her uh, there, there. Let me put them on here. So I sent her these. That one at the top says "Stay sexy and don't get murdered." Yeah, and that one's just swearing. Fuck off. <laughs> so I sent her them, so, and she replied, and I'm like, I'm so excited that she replied. Obviously, I know that it probably wasn't her. Per se, it was probably one of her minions, but I'm still, I'm just really excited that she replied. Because I love her. She's great. So anyway, there we go. I will read it to you. Dear Cherise, it's kind of sad actually. Dear Cherise, thank you so much for your card and the two needle minders, which I love. Unfortunately, I suffer from macular degeneration. I totally didn't know that. Um, and can no longer see well enough to read or sew, which I miss dreadfully, as I so loved making the rude cushions. How sad is that? I mean, it's come, I say it's coming to us all, but obviously our eyesight's going and things. I'm, even me, I'm like 39 and I'm trying to stitch on the 30, 32 count and I need like glasses and a magnifier and a light, you know, whereas like 10 years ago, it'd just be like nothing, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, it was kind of you to think of me and I very much appreciate it. Best wishes. Judy, Judy. Oh, she's lovely and it was so nice of her to reply as well. But that's, that's real sad. But I'm really happy that she did reply. So she kind of made my day with that. And I think I might get it framed on the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's like total fangirl in it. Judy! I love you, Judy! <laughs> anyway, 
had to show you that. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I closed the shop. Um, obviously, with the whole uh, COVID Corona stuff, um, I was really worried about kind of going to the post stuff because I used to I go to the post stuff because. Um, I sell crafty things and I go like at least four times a week to the post office so obviously people get their orders and stuff as soon as they hopefully as soon as they kind of order then I send them out like kind of that day next day kind of thing um but yeah when it's like total lock when they did the total lockdown in the UK I was like Ugh! you know I don't want to it's not really essential kind of thing um but that was like six weeks ago and now I'm like yeah I need some money <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking I might have to not back well yeah backtrack a little bit but I'm thinking I'm just gonna reopen the shop um but just like post out once a week I mean people are pretty understanding I mean I know from our point of view if something takes you know two weeks to get here that's fine you know you know it's coming but everyone's you know got a bit of patience haven't we so I'm gonna reopen um, if you are fans of the shop and stuff, um, here's a link to the shop um, and I will start boost off with a sale because I, I kind of had to cut when they did the lockdown. It was like in the middle of a 20% sale um, and people like, Where, where's your shop gone? Where's your sale gone? So I did say that when I reopen, I would reopen with the sale. So the 20% sale still on. I will be posting once a week. So I will just be going once a week. So it will be. Um, obviously probably about a week added on to the standard postage time and stuff but I think people are pretty okay with that and <clears throat> yeah it would be nice to get some money coming back in so um, yeah we're gonna do that gonna reopen um, and I've had time to kind of make a lot of stuff as well so I have been doing some crafty stuff and got loads of stuff ready to take pictures of and, and send out and stuff anyway I'll get off the shop I don't like to put the shop in a lot because uh, you know it's about the cross stitch not about me trying to sell stuff so anyway <clears throat> i have had um um a birthday <laughs> i'll show you these my stepmother uh chrissy uh she's a really nice lady and she's um got in back into crochet and she sent me these and i know what you're thinking oh my god is that a mask no it's not a mask it's a beard she crocheted me a beard <laughs> so there's that one i love them i love this so crazy it's like the weirdest gift i've ever gotten yeah she's like sharice for your birthday i've uh crocheted you some beards <laughs> like thanks chrissy <laughs> just weird no no just play the one yeah Ooh. this one this next one what tears in my eyes I love, it. <laughs> I love it this next one is my favorite one there we go i think it's the plat the plat i don't know why i'm puckering my mouth to try and fit through the gap this one's my favorite one and i feel like when i wear this you should call me sven because it feels very like nordic so today sven will be presenting denkai floss tube go sven <laughs> Oh, oh proper tears I love it <laughs> so yeah that is uh, that is the weirdest and most amazing gift I've ever gotten <laughs> crocheted beards um, if you want to know the pattern put them a comment and I'll try and get it from a, I don't know whether people will be interested but I suppose if you like live in like a really cold country or something this will come in really handy you know if you like Canada you know get in the post or i don't know nip into the car It'd be nice and toasty toasty anyway there we go we've got <laughs> those i was just like i have to show them because it's like crafty people will love them <laughs> um what else did i do i went to the yorkshire retreat and that was the second weekend in march like literally days before the crackdown um it was really good it was really nice there's a there's a lovely ladies there it was a really nice new hotel um if you're in if you are in yorkshire or surrounding area and you are interested in kind of joining the group or coming to like a little retreat getaway for the weekend i'll put a link down uh, and that is for the facebook group for the yorkshire stitches so we've done that um while we have been off i've also been doing a bit of stitching uh so, stitching sorry and sewing um i've done some sewing on my sewing machine 
I have made a quilt. I won't show it or go into it because it is for a present for my mother. She won't, she won't watch this, don't worry. None of my family watch it. They're like, floss tube, <laughs> watching that. Not a little stitching malarkey. My sister laughs at me, seriously. I'm sure you guys can, you know, relate. It's like, what are you doing today or tonight? Oh, just going to do some cross stitch. Uh, cross stitch again. Cross stitch again. Yes, I'm doing some cross stitch. What about it? <laughs> anyway, so... So yes, I've done some quilting for her, but I haven't finished it. And once I've kind of showed it, or once I've done it, I'll show you it. Um, I literally dug out, I've got a big massive stack. Let me just show you that there. Of, can you see? Did you see that stack? Project bags and things of, um, yeah, boxes of bags of things that I've kind of worked on, I think, in the past two months. So I will show you this hello doggy I made this uh, this is a bag for my scroll frame in here so I was quite impressed that it I measured it up and it fit properly <laughs> yay bonus oh look at that do you see that was from this morning whoa doggy get off the thing sorry she's just <laughs> I'm about to turn my light over um yeah, that is from an underwire bra. Seriously, they are lethal. The wire was poking out at the side and then they're like trying to jam it and it just won't go and add a little sharp bit on. And I think the pressure that I put on was not pushing it back in and it went through my skin. And when I say it went through my skin, it literally went through nearly all the layers of my skin and just like, what's the word? Gouged. Gouged a big chunk out my thumb. I know it really hurts although it's getting a bit better. Germaline and plastered that bad boy and I'll take it off later. Hopefully I can do some cross stitch tonight. We'll see. So anyway, so I did the bag. Yay! Um, and the quilt. Um, that's kind of all the other crafty things that I've really got. I'll get back on, I'll get onto the cross stitch now, shall I? Yes! <laughs> it's like 12 minutes and all she's done is waffle. We should put a little link in the front, shouldn't we? Start here for the cross stitch, the rest is Cherise talking crap. <laughs> Never mind, you don't mind. It's just a nice little conversation. <laughs> oh, I've just seen my little list because I have little lists of things that I want to tell you about. I've been doing gardening. Uh, I'm not a big gardener. Um, I. I would like to be but I just don't really kind of have the skills or experience so I'm kind of making it up as I go along um, I do have like a little book that I've got which is about how to grow this and how to grow that it's mainly vegetables and fruits that I'm kind of starting to grow although I have kind of put things in pots hoping to get a few nice flowers and things um, I'll put some pictures of the garden in uh, here you go Mike if you could put some in so there's some pictures of like the, the pots that are hopefully waiting for flowers to come. Um, and then when we moved in, there was an old greenhouse already here. So we kind of uh, just kind of planted stuff in there. So I'm hoping that, um, oh, sorry, this is the dog. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping that the things will grow. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do have some little garlic coming up. So I'm really impressed with my little stick, excuse me, my little leaf of garlic. Um, yeah, and I do have a vegetable patch that I've started to kind of grow. I made like the little sticks to grow raspberries and tomatoes. So there you go. Anyway, I'll get, I will get onto the stitching. Sorry. <laughs> if you're like, oh God, I do apologize. Um, right. I didn't have any order for this. I'm literally just going to get them out and we can talk about them and see, see what you think. I'll get the big frames out of the way first. So we'll do the one that was in here let me see um i'll show you i'm not actually sure if i've got this out this this week this month or not but this is uh in fact let me get the book i can't find the book i'll find the book but this is i think it's cross stitch collection uh peacock she is lovely on my scroll frame and i think she's gonna be a bit of a, a beast um yeah when you get real close she looks real fuzzy but when you get further away it's like wow so nice so yeah we'll see how that goes uh on the scroll frame because yeah she's a big baby 
So there's that. I don't know whether I've stitched that, so I apologise if I haven't done any more on that, so there's nothing more to see, but um anyway, it's just nice to see people's charts and things. So there we go. So that is her. Next, and I know I have done a little bit on this because I, I was so fed up with this next one. I'm doing uh it is Bluebeard's Princess. I'm doing the skin one over one. Let me get it out of the frame so you can see it. I'm doing the skin one over one and it's just taken so long, so long and I was getting really fed up with it. Anyway, we were supposed to have a Mirabilia retreat, this was pre-lockdown, um, in April and I was so excited because a few of my friends, uh, Charlotte, Natalie and Aileen were kind of like, yeah, bring it, we'll do one over, sk one over skin, we'll, you know, we'll all take turns and we'll get it done and I was like, yes, someone's going to do the skin for me. Normally I don't let people stitch on my stuff but... Um, I trust them so I was like, okay then uh, but yeah no it was cancelled so now I have to do my own skin again <laughs> here we go <clears throat> this is Bluebird's Princess so I have done more of the skin I don't know if you can see I love it some of the beads are on some not and I think I've just kind of really been focusing on getting some more of that skin there's a bit of an outline I wanted to try and get an outline done where <clears throat> I kind of got, uh, obviously in skin there's like the different tones and stuff and they, they go like darker in places lighter than another. So I was trying to get like all the dark bits done so literally just inside one area is all light so you can just run through it and not have to kind of think about things and, and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I have done a bit of that. Um, obviously I hate skin. So I'm really putting it off. I'm sure you know what, I'm, you, what it's like with yourselves. You've got a piece and you just think, yeah, I, I like it, but there's that bit that I really don't like. So you put it off and, yeah, it just kind of gets left. But that said, the rest of it is beautiful. And I do want it finished because it's just going to look amazing when it's finished. Um, it is stitched on Flotsam and Jetsam. And that is a 32 count even weave from Chromatic Alchemy. Um, I love it. Uh, I didn't actually think it would go very well. So I didn't know that it would go very well with this chart until I looked it up on Fabric Viewer, where you can kind of match the charts to the fabrics. Um, and it matched it really. Oops, it matched it really well and looked really good. Um, so um, yeah, so I was pleased with that. Let me take that off. There we go. I'm dropping everything go down right let me pack this up just gonna leave that like that put that on the side out of the way next oh my god she's so beautiful so beautiful I'm just like oh i love you i've done loads of work on this loads of work let me just get her out of the frame or let's scroll the frame down and you can see this is Renaissance Mermaid by Mirabilia. Obviously, a bit of a Mirabilia fangirl right here. Love them. Um, they're like my favourite charts ever. <laughs> um, this is Renaissance Mermaid. And I did some beading. I actually left it because I was going to do a video on how I do beading because I thought that might be quite helpful for people that um, are kind of new to beading and stuff because it took me a while to figure out how to get them to live just how I want them and I wanted to kind of share that. Um, anyway. I'll show you. Right you see that? Bling! Bling, bling, bling! See how that is that? There's a face. Backstitch the face. So she is literally just waiting for the beads. There we go. She's so pretty. I love her. I did the skin too over two. I learned from my mistakes. Um, so yeah, so she needs beading. That's all she does. That is Bluebird's print and uh, Bluebird's Renaissance Mermaid. Um, Mirabilia on thirty-two count even weave. Uh, it's called Hairbell or Hairball, Hairbell, Hairbell from Sparklies. I think she does have a website, but it's actually still being um, made or she's revamping it. So, but I'll put a link to her Facebook group. Um, and she's got quite nice fabrics as well. So that's those two. <clears throat> I've just got more mirabilia. So I'll try and 
break it up with something else, shall I? Otherwise, you're just going to get mirabilia out. Uh, this is... I don't know what that was. Never mind. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is... Strike the Balance, or the Yin Yang one, from Stitch Rovia. I like Stitch Rovia. Um, sorry about that buzzing. Some of the styles of things that she does, I, I do really like, but it's not something I think, yes, I must stitch that. Uh, but there are some of them. I liked the Mind one that she did. That was really good. Um, and this one. Uh, but no, I do love all the, the quotes and sayings and things. Let me get this off the cues now. Wow. This is a tight one. There we go. So yeah, the strength of balance. I've just done this on plain Ada. This is my, you know, don't really have to think or count holes very, very much. There we go. It's quite vibrant. I am, I don't know if I've said this before, I probably have, but on here, I'm not that keen of that, I'm not that keen on the green, the vomit green. I prefer kind of like a nice soft jade green than something that's that, whoa! Ugh. Um, personal preference, you know, people I might like that. But anyway, I wanted to plan to change that to something that's a bit more, I don't know, pleasing to my eye. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of working on the water bit. Um, I think I've only done a little bit. I've mainly just been having the mirabilia's out. It's been the mirabilia party in the house, I'll tell you that. So. That is that. I will keep that downstairs, I think, and when I'm waiting for the dinner and things like that, I might, might get it out and do a bit of that. Um, but yeah, like I said, nice easy one. You don't really have to think that much. Obviously with the Eden Weave, I'm there freaking count a stick, hole, miss a hole, count a hole, miss a hole. I just find Ada easier, but I prefer the overall look of Eden Weave a bit better, if that makes sense. It does. It does. You're okay. okay. Right. Next, there's only a couple more. <laughs> if you're still with me, hang on in there. Oh, this was a new start. Uh, we'd had a virtual retreat. Obviously, I said we were supposed to go to um, the Milton Keynes Mirabilia retreat is in April, every April. If you want to join, if you like Mirabilia's, the Mirabilia style, and you wanted to join the Mirabilia Facebook group, there's a link below. Um, and yes, yeah, so we normally have like a retreat in April. Uh, obviously it was cancelled this month which was very sad uh, but understandable um, but we had a virtual one instead um, so we kind of all got together on zoom and had like zoom meeting and chat chatty stitchy time and stuff and that was nice uh, but I did had a couple of new starts one of them this was my new birthday start because obviously on your birthday you have to have a new start it's the law okay this is Lilith uh, can you see her? She is lovely. I love the purples. I'm a big purple and turquoise fan, so she really appealed. I was told, however, that the, that brown at the bottom is a bit of a pain to stitch, and someone suggested changing it out for some purples. Um, I don't know. She just looks very graceful and slightly bitchy, so I love her. She's like, yes, it's me, it's me. Um, but yeah, so that is my start for her. That is totally the wrong way round. There you go. <laughs> so this is her belly coming down and then obviously that'll flip around into there. Let's get this off and you can see. Put on there. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna come round there, down her knees and then just round. <clears throat> I quite like the tail. I've never seen a tail like that. It's kind of like a split one, rather than just like a whole fin. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but I want to kind of get a couple more finished before I carry on with her. Um, and you'll see why, because I had another start as well. And this one, my other start, is super exciting because it's not just a normal new start. It's a conversion. So, I will show you that. Oh, I think I need to, should have got made my bag a bit bigger for this one. This is a bit of a, a squeeze. There we go. Sorry. 
I have to put them away in the right bag, otherwise after the video I end up with a big pile of stuff and then I'm just like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Um, right, I'll show you my other one, my conversion. I am, um, I didn't think I would enjoy, well I knew I would enjoy working on it, but <clears throat> I didn't realise just how much I would enjoy working on this one. Um, although saying that, it's a conversion. It's a gothic conversion, or gothic style conversion of Baker's Wife. Let me try and find, you'll need the picture to understand it. And the picture, because I have to keep the picture out and all the colours out and things and notes. That is Baker's Wife. I'm doing a gothic style conversion on it. Um, here we go, let me take the chart off because you don't want to see that. Okay, sorry about this. Oh, drop that. There we go. Is that the right way around? Yes. Is that the right? No. <laughs> One second. There. That is the right way around. That is her neck. I think we'll see. There we go. So the head is just going to be up there. There are all of the bows. Obviously you've got the fancy bit there and I'm just kind of starting on the dress. I ran out of my thread. <laughs> there. So yeah, there we go. And obviously a hand coming down. I've done the hand. So that is the gothic style conversion. She's going to look so good. I've never done a conversion before, so she was my first. Let me try and find the fabric for you so you know. It is... Oh, Colour Cascade Fabrics. It's from Australia. It's Australian. That's my Australian accent. That's all I can say. It's Australian. Oh, g'day, mate. That's it. I'll shut up now. <laughs> so yeah, gothic style. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Um, I didn't, I know that uh, there's a lady called Jodie who is also, if you are if you like conversions, especially Mirabilia conversions, there's a Mirabilia conversion Facebook group which you can join and people put up the conversions and what they've done and everything else and you look at them and you're like, whoa! <laughs> um, but I know that she was doing, she's doing one of these as well. Um, she's kind of gone more for like a black dress as I've kind of gone for greys because I wanted to kind of bring out the detail a, a bit in that. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting how we're both in the same style but just different. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, but my first conversion and one thing I noticed was there's no kind of LNS near here or like local needlework stores near here. So I kind of have to go everything off what I see on the internet when I'm buying things. And I'm trying to plan the colours that I want and it's really hard. So I essentially, this, this is why conversions cost me like freaking twice as much as any other thing because you literally have to, to buy things just in case that would look nice. So I've got like a box full of like, I literally pulled all the reds I had and then bought a few more that I saw. Um, a few carrying water lilies to replace some of them and then there's like a box of like greys in there. Whereas if you just follow the chart, you know, it's already there. But I suppose that's part of the fun, isn't it? Kind of making it as you go along. Um, I do also have some beads that I bought. A little bead case. So I do some beads, purple, red. It's going to be like um, grey um, with like purples and reds. So deep, like a deep red. And I'm changing one of the really exciting bits I'm changing. In a hand, there's going to be something else. Not a cupcake, but something else. So hopefully I can get that done this month and then show you when it's all done. Um, <clears throat> and looking good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So we'll see how that looks. <laughs> but no, I'm really excited about working on that. So I'm kind of doing that on the nights that I stitch. Just a few nights. So yeah, I'm getting that done. And that's really exciting. <laughs> so I'm hoping to kind of finish that off before um, I start or work on any of the other Mirabilias. Sorry about that. I just had uh, Mike and Eden and the dog. <laughs> I'll put it at the end. Um right i think i'm not quite sure how many we've got left i know we've got that one um let me see have i done any more on this what is it mirabilia no i don't think so 
Um, I think... No, not on that one. I think we might be at the end of... End of the stack. I've got like project bags here and stuff, but I don't think I've... I think that might be it. Hang on a second. Yep, I think so. Right. Last one. <laughs> Here we go. This is... God, I should really prep, shouldn't I? Never mind. I've got them all together. What else do you want? <laughs> Let's just take... Oh, sorry. Nearly lost you there. Let's take these reminders off. I've just... <laughs> I've just noticed that on like three out of like however many projects I've got, I've got these fuck off needle minders. <laughs> I think maybe I'm trying to tell people something. <laughs> you know, out of all the needle minders that I've made, I've like taken those ones for myself. I think that that's trying to tell people something, isn't it? <laughs> right. This is nearly finished. If you recall, uh, myself, uh, Maggie Titchener and her sister Carol um, all started last year. No, not last year. In October. Um, Cathedral Woods Goddess. We all started at the same time, but different fabrics, really different looks to it and everything. Um, this is where I stand now. Oh, sorry. I thought I've got that off. <laughs> There we go. Isn't she lovely? I love her face. Managed to get all the way down there. And now I'm stuck. Because, I'll tell you why, 202HL. Krennic. That is why. It's a bane. I cannot get hold of it. It's the like the light. That, if you can see all those leaves, you can't really see from here. It's so much shinier in real life. I need to, I might, when I finish it, I might do a little video of it. Obviously, I've still got the beads to, I've backstitched the head. Um, still got the beads to do. Obviously, there's loads of beads in her chest. And i finished all the, the leaves on that side. I've just kind of fin got this bit down here to do. But yeah, I cannot get Krennic anywhere. That 202 HL, nowhere. Uh, what else was there? Oh, there was um, a water lilies for Lilith as well. I'm sure you're all having the same problem. I think everyone is. I think the world um, is deciding, you know, to lock down. We'll all do cross stitch together. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, I had to get the little tag. If you like the fabric, that is Erebus by Chromatic Alchemy. Can that focus on that? No, of course it doesn't. <laughs> 32 Count Murano. Um, I really like this one. I think it goes well with it. Um, it's kind of like ruddy and green. Although you can't really see the red very well. But it's there. It's nice. Um, yeah, I thought that went really well. Maggie had a fantastic... And Carol, they had great fabrics for theirs. They chose ones that was kind of like a gold flexing. So if you are doing this... I'd maybe choose a fabric with gold flexing because that was really, there's just look really nice. Um, I can't, Carol hasn't done any more in hers. I think Maggie's is getting there with hers. Um, but yeah, we declared mine the winner. I mean, there was a race, but not really a race, you know what I mean? We're all stitched at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's that. I need to, to get hold of some more Krennic and then I will get that one finished. But I think... This month, I'm going to focus on... Oh, I'm dropping them. I don't normally have this many charts. <laughs> and this many projects out at once, so... <laughs> um, yeah, so I think this month I'm going to focus on um, Baker's Wife, because I really want to get to the thing that's in the hand. It's going to look so good. <laughs> I'm really excited. And get that big grey dress finished, and hopefully... Because obviously it's a conversion, you don't know how it's going to fully turn out until you've done it, um, which is kind of one of the, the good things, but then also the bad things because you have to frog it if it looks crap. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm excited to do that and to get um, my ideas in my head for like all the beading what bit's going to be red, what bit's going to be purple, but yeah, and get the thing in the hand done as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to try and do a video on beading i think i'm gonna really try and 
I think, or at least give people kind of an idea of how I do it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not very, very experienced and you kind of, I don't want to, I don't know if I can fully explain things well enough for people if you don't have that much experience yourself. I mean, I'm sure I could help. Um, it took me a while to kind of figure out how to get them really straight as, or as straight as I wanted kind of thing. Um, but we'll see. And so obviously I want to finish Renaissance Mermaid because there's a lot of beading in her, like all the tail is just like little like sir, all the scale outlines are all beads. So that's going to take a while, but it's going to look so nice. Then at least I can get one of my mirror beanies finished. I was supposed to finish Renaissance Mermaid and Cathedral Woods Goddess before I started Lilith and Baker's Wife. But never mind. You know, these things happen. <laughs> um, right. What else have we got? We've done whips. We've talked about what I'm going to focus on in May. I'm going to try and just focus on those two. I will see I'll take um, the Stitch Rovey one downstairs and we'll see how that goes. When I, if I get time, when I'm waiting for potatoes to cook and all that jazz. <laughs> um, I also have some haul. Yay! Uh, this is like two months haul, um, retreat haul and birthday haul. So just be prepared. I don't normally spend this amount of money. So, you know, it is birthday and it's a treat okay first I went to the Yorkshire retreat obviously in March before it all kind of kicked off um, I bought this from because there's other vendors there I did take my cross stitch shop and um, kind of had all, that all out for people to buy things and I made the the needle minder for the retreat as well which is really nice um, but there's other vendors there as well and Zarina who um, does like Mill Hill kits and Mirabilia kits um, she was there and I got this from her is a little dragonfly and it's a Mill Hill kit so obviously it's all comes with like the beads the treasures the DMC and the chart um, so yeah I think that's really pretty so I'm going to add that to my to my stash and do that one day this is from a lady called Joanne and this is she's thinking of making them and like selling them for people uh, and I thought it was a good idea because it's lovely <laughs> um, I chose the fabric that I wanted she had loads of different styles of fabric and she's like choose the fabric you want and I'll, I'll make it for you it's called a floss folder um, and her shop or her kind of logo kind of thing is ladybug uh, ladybird sorry not ladybug and they sit it is like a floss pocket and you keep your charts in and stuff um so yeah she just we're friends so she's like try to tell me what you think and i mean i bought it from her because it's just like amazing and you know i'm gonna use it <laughs> totally <laughs> but anyway she put like a little card in for me which is lovely and you basically keep your um a, like a whole project in there um so it's got like a pocket there pocket there with like a little mesh uh she put on a couple of these rings obviously the floss plastic floss holders and that's plastic so i can just sharpie down there and have a go uh, then we've got a vinyl pocket there and then another pocket there so obviously you put your floss on and you took it behind there and there's another one there and you took it behind there Put your chart in, put your fabric in there, kind of thing, and then, yeah, and then it does up with a jazzy little button. I love it, love it. So yeah, she made it. I will have a look and see because I think oh she she made this for me as well because she's lovely. Froggy, <laughs> see a little froggy pouch, with, like all the little notions with a little cute little ladybird on there. <laughs> So yeah, I love that. I really love that. And I love the fabric as well. It's Tula Pink. In case you like fabrics and things. The designer of the fabric is Tula Pink. And I love her stuff. Love her stuff. So yeah, I really love that. I said love a lot, but there's lots of love. Okay, lots and lots of love. Um, so yeah, I like that. Probably not so much for the mirrors. Uh, but yeah, for like small projects. In fact, I might put... Uh, my yin and yang one in there. That might be, that might be quite nice. Might put it in there. Um, what else? 
It was my birthday. 39 years young. And I have never, ever stitched... I bought this one. Sparkling Peacock. I'll try and get it real close for you to see. Although that's probably not going to do it justice. Definitely won't do it justice because if you've if you've never seen a chatelaine made or created or cross stitched or whatever in real life, you're missing out because this thing is just so beautiful. We're talking like treasures, silks. It's just then the designs are lovely. Um, I love it. <clears throat> and but I'll read you. It's got DMC in there, water lilies. Gloriana silks, dinky dyes, rainbow gallery petites, uh, yeah, treasure braids, beads, crystals. This thing is like I don't know, the Prada. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all this famous design. I don't know any famous designers. This thing is like the Prada. This is a Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce of cross stitch charts. This what this is. Um, so yeah. These things to kit up are like uh, £200 or something. I don't, I'm not very good. And then probably about $250 or something. So it is a, a serious investment, not only in money, but in time. Um, and I don't have one. So I would like to, to have the experience of stitching a Chatelaine. I bought the chart for my birthday. Um, but that said, I am going to wait until Christmas and add this to my Christmas list for all the materials because it is really expensive but I would I do like to kit things up and have the kits all ready um, in case you run out of things like chronic which I didn't obviously buy enough for uh, but yeah and I like to have things all kind of uh, kitted up ready for when I want to start it <coughs> incidentally there is the Chatelaine if you do like Chatelaines there is the Chatelaine UK Facebook group um, which you can join. I'll put a link at the bottom in the description. That is run by a lovely lady called Natalie um, and she's also running a monthly kind of Zoom get together, stitch along, catch up kind of thing. I don't think you really have to stitch chat have to stitch chatelaines but we all love chatelaines that are kind of in there and stuff or varying degrees of experience um, but they will kind of help you with tips and tricks and everything else. So that's my first Chatelaine. As I said, not kitted up, not probably going to start for a year or two. Don't take me that long to get everything together. <laughs> but that is, out of all the designs, that is my favourite one, the Sparkling Peacock. Uh, also for birthday, I got some birthday money off my dad. So I hit up a few of my favourite places. Um, I went to, obviously I like to kind of kit up things myself, usually, usually. <clears throat> I went to Art Designs because that's where I like to buy my bead packs from. So I have a little book. I don't have it with me. No, I'm just trying to figure out where it is. But I have a book of like all my cross stitch charts and their various stages of how they're being kitted up kind of thing. I will actually do a video on that and kind of show people if they want to see it. Kind of my Mirabilia cross stitch kit collection and where we are in like making the kits and everything else that might be quite a nice video so i might do that um so yeah i bought these to go in the kits for them that i've got this is Ch -ch 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 moonlight laguna mermaid i like her it's having a hard time focusing isn't it i don't know why that is is that one this one is sea flora these are obviously the nora corbett She's the designer for Mirabilia. Uh, but these are like her smaller mermaids rather than the big massive things. Water Lily. I've got some gorgeous fabric for her. So lots of beads for her. Um, this is a Bluebell. That's going to be nice. Why wouldn't it focus? Come on, you stupid camera. There we go. And... Aphrodite! I'm sure you've all seen the Aphrodite mermaid. No. Nope. It's having a hard time focusing on that, isn't it? And, I need to put these in a little box. We have Krennix. Obviously, I did try and find 202HL, but no, nowhere's got it. 
you know, art and designs I usually buy from and Lakeside Needlecraft I buy from, I usually get my DMC from there. Um, and Peakside Needleworks I've been buying. They're the three main shops in case you're wondering. They're the three main shops that I normally buy my threads, chronic and water lilies from. So yeah, I've got some acrylics. Um, there we go. Some nice greens, blues. These are for uh, obviously just kitting up ones that I've already got. I don't know what that orange is for. That is for Gypsy Mermaid. I'm really looking forward to stitching her. But she's in line. What I normally do is I have things that I want to stitch and I'll normally cue something similar behind them kind of thing. Um, so after my Stitch Rovi Yin and Yang one, I'm going to stitch um, this black, this black thread Hayd one. Um, because they were the yin yang ones like got lots of black in and this one's got lots of black in it's on Ada as well. Um and after my Bluebeard's Princess, because obviously she's the same kind of shape as Gypsy Merm Gypsy Mermaid. So but oranges. Anyway, that's just in my head. I thought to show her. <laughs> um these are the water lilies. I'll read them. It says Frey du Pois. Obviously, it's French. I want to say Frey is strawberries. I'm not quite sure what Dubois is. But it does look strawberry-ish. There we go. That one, we have Midnight. Midnight every Wednesday. What else do we have? One of my favourite ones. Mediterranean. I just love water lilies. They're like one of my favourite, favourite silks. African Sunset. Nice. Oranges and pinks in there. And blue lavender. There we go. And last one. Antique Rose. Chase. Yeah. It's Aiden Raven again. Okay. It's me again. There we go. On the camera. Yes. So. Huh. Are you ready for my joke? Because I normally what tell. Joke? I normally tell a joke at the end of my videos. Mm. Are you ready? I don't know if you'll find it funny, but you can see. Okay. Okay. Here's my joke. What's black and shiny and swashbuckling? I know, a zebra with two horns. <laughs> Not quite. Bin back the sailor. Okay, I'll give you a question, people. Oh, okay, go on then. What does three What does three humps on a camel make? What does three humps on a camel make? I know, a silly wonky dunkle camel. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought from, for a second I was going to tell like a proper joke. Oh, no. Never mind, we'll get there one day. It was now bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll tell you another one because it's on the same page and I like this one too. What's braver, a stone or a rock? A rock because it's a little bolder. <laughs> That's from my awesome dad joke book. And there we go. That is it. You've had the lot. The big massive catch up. All of my things I've been working on for the past two months. Um, we've talked about haul, uh, whips and we've done haul. Um, that's about it. Um, there we go. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello Eden, my son's here. Have you come to say hello on my floss tube? Hi everyone, oh. my name's Eden, this is Chase. Good boy. You can't... He's got a camera. Um, he had a camera before. Okay, everyone... Sorry, I'm just checking the dog isn't eating things because okay. she has a tendency to try and eat things off my craft room floor. Okay, <coughs> She's mom, a puppy. Mum, yeah. How to turn it on and take a picture? Yes, of course you can. I'm sure they'd love to know that. Um, okay, so this is how you take a picture. Nice and quick. This is how to take a picture.
I'll give it to start. How do you take the picture? Are you ready? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Yes, everyone. Do you want to see the picture? Yep. That's the little screen, isn't it? Oh. We'll just do. Okay. Here, yeah, that's the picture. Oh, You're giving away my trade secrets here. <laughs> and okay. if we're having a family get together, this is Charlie. Charlie, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. She's my puppy. She's ten months old. Mikey, gonna get in on this. Hello. This is my husband. You've got the whole frigging house here. This is what I get for doing it on a Saturday afternoon and not like nine o'clock on a night. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay. So there we go. That's the whole family. Yeah. Come on then, everyone out. Do you want to take Charlie? Because I'm petrified she's going to eat something off the floor. Go on, let's eat some stuff off the floor. No, don't. I've got like magnets somewhere. Go on, Charlie. Good girl. Go on. Let's eat some metal. Sorry. <laughs> I think you better um just if yeah. you can clip this bit out and stick it at the end. Yeah. Eden, come on, mate. Go on, Mummy's so making a video, a new mate. Camera. Come on, nice and quick. So, Mummy's busy. So, we'll can you show Mummy later, why not? Eden, come on, mate. I'm closing the door, buddy. Good man. So, we'll do this downstairs, eh? Thank you. Alright, love you. See you in a few minutes. Okay. <coughs> right. <laughs> And